Hey, this is Kenneth, and today I'm at the Western Pacific Railroad Museum in Portola, where I actually have been active as a volunteer pretty much all of my life. Uh, it's a pretty interesting museum, but today what I wanted to show you was that one of the displays we have is we have a functional wigwag. So, you know, modern railroad crossings have you know, the gates that come down. Um, in the early 20th century, they used these instead, which is a wigwag, and they didn't physically block the railroad crossing. Um, we, when this was donated to the museum, it was then restored and is fully functional. And so I felt that it deserved to be coin operated. And so I made it happen. So this is a, this is a box that I built that uses a kind of off the shelf coin acceptor. So these Adafruit um, sells these and it's actually, it's programmable as so you can train it is you can put it in programming mode and drop 20 like 20 of each coin that you want to train it on so i trained it on nickels dimes quarters um and then i put a little 50 cent thing on it and so now we can drop 50 cents into it and the wig wag starts running um inside of the box itself i have this little controller board which I designed. So it's got essentially just an Arduino with a connector for the uh, coin acceptor and another connector for the relay that runs this. This runs on about five amps at 12 volts. And so I just got an automotive relay inside of the box here. And then if we look at the back of the box, So there's the coin acceptor, there's the relay and the controller, and it's literally just a coffee can. The coffee can slips in and out, and there's the coin acceptor. So that's been a fun little project, and yeah, if you ever want to make something coin operated, the, the modules are really easy to, to work with. They, the coin acceptor module here, um, you just tell it, here's the four different types of coins that I want you to accept and I want this one to be worth this number of pulses, and this one to be worth this number of pulses. And it just sits there and you drop, you drop a quarter, it's so like I said, each pulse is worth five cents. So each time that you drop a quarter, it outputs five pulses. The controller then counts those, and once it sees 10 pulses, it goes, that was 50 cents, and away it goes. So, thanks for watching. And if you ever happen to be in like the Northern California, Truckee area, I think this museum is pretty good.